I asked NVIDIA why they're removing Max-Q branding from their laptop GPUs, and they responded, so let's find out what the deal is. I originally saw this story published on Notebook Check a couple of days ago and decided to investigate further. Basically, Notebook Check was saying that 3000 mobile GPUs will no longer use Max-Q or Max-P branding on the spec sheet. These terms were useful for getting a rough idea of what level of performance to expect when buying a new laptop, as a Max-Q version essentially just meant that it ran with a lower power limit. So these were typically seen in lighter and thinner laptops. That said, the terms Max-Q and Max-P were never all that useful. For example, you could have RTX 2060 graphics at 80 watts, 90 watts, or 115 watts, and all would be considered as Max-P. Max-Q would only be considered anything under this, like 65 watts. To actually know the power limits for sure, you would need to check reviews, as most companies don't actually specify it in the spec sheet. So with Nvidia now not requiring Max-Q in the specs, you can see how this would make an already messy situation worse. The power limit range for the new RTX 3080 laptop GPU is 80 to 150 plus watts. If Max-Q isn't listed anywhere, then you've got no real idea of what you're buying or how it will perform without checking reviews. Just for a quick example, here are some frame rates in Shadow of the Tomb Raider at different power limits. In general, you get a higher FPS with a higher power limit, but in most cases you won't find these power limits on the spec sheet. So what's Nvidia's reasoning for this? I'm going to quote their response directly from my phone and give you my thoughts along the way. It looks like Kid Guru also got much of the same response from Nvidia too. You can check out their post in the description. Alright, so here's what Nvidia said to me. When we originally introduced Max-Q back in 2017, the brand was initially used in GPU naming since Max-Q referred to the GPU TGP only. And yeah, I agree with that. That's exactly what I think of when I hear Max-Q. They then go on to say, today third generation Max-Q is brought up and is a holistic set of platform technologies and design approach to building powerful and thin laptops. Okay, so now Max-Q means more than just power limit. In addition, to be more more transparent about a laptop's exact capabilities, RTX 3000 series laptops now show more information than ever, listing exact TGP, clocks, and features supported. You will find this in the control panel which now reports maximum power, TGP plus boost, and support for key features including Dynamic Boost 2, Whisper Mode 2, Advanced Optimus, and others, all of which fall under the Max-Q umbrella. Look, it's definitely great that we now get power limit reported through the control panel. Previously to find the power limit, I'd have to run a GPU workload and monitor it. So this is a welcome improvement. However, it's only really useful if you already have a laptop or you're looking at one in store or something. It doesn't help if you're buying a new laptop based on the spec sheet, unless the company specifies the power limit, but more on that soon. So basically it sounds like Max-Q is now used to refer to an overall suite of Nvidia technologies, instead of just lower power limits. And I do kind of get it. For example, last year Max-Q Dynamic Boost was only available for Max-Q GPUs, but now this year it's renamed to Dynamic Boost and it's available with all mobile GPUs. There's a little bit more. Finally, Nvidia goes on to say, we strongly encourage OEMs to list clocks and other technologies a laptop supports, including Advanced Optimus, Dynamic Boost 2, and more. Ultimately, like all laptops and specs, it is up to the OEM to market what their particular laptop configuration supports. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think there was ever a hard requirement for your OEM, like your ASUS or MSI for example, to actually have to specify if a laptop was Max-Q. This is just my best guess though, as over the last few years there have been a number of laptops laptops that didn't specify Max-Q that definitely were. So without the Max-Q branding, it seems like Nvidia are now passing it off to the OEM as to whether or not they specify things like the power limit. Personally, I would have liked to have seen Nvidia enforce the OEM to specify the power limit on all of their laptops. This would make it much more clear as to what you're getting when you buy. At the same time though, I'm guessing this might create more confusion in the market for people that don't necessarily know what power limits are. So if that's the case, I kind of see why they may not have wanted to take that path. I've asked some OEMs if they would be specifying the power limit in their specs. I didn't get that many replies, but one major OEM did say that they already list the TDP on their laptop specs. Now I did check a few and found that it was missing. So in this particular example, it sounds like it's more of an ongoing thing that they're looking at improving over time. On the other hand, other companies like XMG for example have always specified the power limit, which is great. It seems that the more enthusiast grade laptop providers are keen to be transparent, while for the most part, larger companies are happy to not specify, at least from what I've seen so far. Again though, this could be because enthusiasts understand things like power limit. I suppose it'll become clear pretty soon which OEMs do and don't start specifying the power limits. We can just check the spec pages on their website. In my personal opinion, I do consider it a bit misleading to not specify the power limit, as the expected
expected level of performance does vary based on this variable. I also don't know if we should let Nvidia off the hook completely just yet though. Sure, they're saying it's up to the OEM, but they could probably do more here too. Now this is just my guess, but I could see why they might want to move away from the Max-Q branding. I can't begin to tell you the amount of comments my videos have had over the years with comments like Max-Q is a scam, or Max-Q equals no buy, stuff like that. There just generally seems to be a negative connotation when Max-Q is involved. And look, I don't agree with that. I understood what Max-Q is meant to do. Fact is, if you want a thinner and lighter laptop, you just need lower power limits. Otherwise things get too hot. That's just the way the world works, but apparently some people didn't understand that. This might not actually be as big of a deal as you think though. Did Max-Q and Max-P really help us that much before? In most cases, Max-Q and Max-P power limits still weren't specified before. And as mentioned, both of those terms could refer to a pretty wide range of power limits. I guess it was better than nothing because at least Max-Q could let us quickly see that a laptop wasn't full power. But now with this change, we just have no idea unless an OEM specifies. I also asked Nvidia why there was a bigger change between laptop and desktop specs this generation, as things were much closer together last generation. To me, it feels a little bit dodgy to call both a laptop and desktop GPU a 3080 when the laptop now has fewer CUDA cores for example. Nvidia basically said that the laptop name was more about the experience. So a 3080 laptop GPU represents the best of what they've got available in the laptop space. It's not necessarily meant to be compared directly against the desktop card. I get what they're saying, but I doubt most of their customers are going to see this. If you see something named the same, I could understand why you would expect a comparable level of performance. I think this disconnect between laptop and desktop specs, combined with the removal of Max-Q to specify lower wattage, is a recipe for confusion. But hey, what do I know? What do you think the solution is? Personally, I just want to see power limits for GPUs specified in all specs. I think it would be great if that was a requirement. And it's something that I've always wanted since the introduction of Max-Q. Without this, the removal of Max-Q is going to make it more difficult to know what you're buying without checking reviews or if the OEM doesn't specify the power limit. So hopefully the big OEMs come through and start doing this, but I don't have high hopes. I guess this means laptop reviews are going to be more important than ever this generation, so if you're new to the channel then get subscribed for all of my upcoming laptop reviews and RTX 3000 comparisons.